Hi all, happy Sunday. I always plan my weeks out on either Sunday or Monday morning, so I thought I would share with you what I do to organize and time block my weeks. I use Trello, um, and as you can see, I have been using it to plan my week out for a very long time. So we are going to begin with creating a Trello board, um, and this is going to be something that you can do with a free Trello account. So if you have not already hopped on the Trello train, you need to because there are so many things you can do with it. I use it to organize my database and keep track of who I need to check in with for active buyers, active sellers, people in the pipeline. So I do have a video on that as well. So if you want to know how to set up a board like that, be sure to check that one out. Um, but this week we're talking about weekly schedule and time blocking. So First, you're gonna create a Trello board. This entire thing right here is what a board is. You can rename it right up here by clicking. Mine is just called Weekly Schedule. I also have it starred so that it shows up in my left-hand side um, so that I can easily access it. Um, and then you are gonna create a list. These columns right here are lists. So we're gonna create one. I have mine called New Week. You could do Monday through Friday. You could do Monday through Sunday. I personally like having the weekends on there because if there's someone's birthday or showing, I make sure that I have it on there and um, I know what I am doing that day. I also have a next week card where if anything comes up that I'm thinking of that I don't have time for and that current week, I will put it on the next week list or anything that I haven't gotten to, I put it on next week list. Um, I also have a weekly checklist, which has been super important to me and making sure everything is systematized. So I do a buyer or seller intake and entire process, basically. So I pretend like I just got a new seller or I just got a new buyer. And I do like a test run of like all of my systems. So my email templates, my marketing, I make sure everything makes sense. I literally send it to myself and make sure that it looks good in the eyes of the consumer. Um, and I alternate that every other week. So I will do, for example, like buyer process this week and then seller process next week. Um, and then I also have database work on there. So writing personal notes, sending birthday cards, commenting on social media posts, setting up meetings with people. Um, check-ins every single week, buyers, sellers, pipeline, and then check birthdays and send cards. So over here on my desk, I actually, in a month, a month in advance, I will write out all of my birthday cards and home anniversaries, wedding anniversaries, anything I want to send in a personal note to people that can be systematized. I put them in order and then I will look at my list for the week and let's say like November 5th is upcoming. So okay, I have a home anniversary and I have a birthday. So then I just, it's already addressed, everything. I just have to slap a stamp on it and put it in the mail. So I like having that all systematized. Okay, so that's how you're gonna set up your template card and you're gonna keep your template card. You're not just gonna roll over it and create it every single time because we're all about saving time. So then to copy it, you're gonna come up here to the three dots and do copy list. It'll ask you to name it something else. Um, and then I usually just name it the dates that are for that week. So I already created this side. And then from my next week section, so this was from the previous week, so it'll make a little more sense what I'm what I'm talking about. You'll control A to select all, control C to copy. And then you, I well, you don't have to, but I like to do it this way. You can control V into a sticky note, or if you have a Mac, it's probably called something else, but I don't know, I have a Windows computer. Um, and then you are gonna have all of your next week tasks, and you can, I usually have to add a bunch of things on here from my phone calendar or things from my email that I don't yet have on here. So I make sure pretty much everything is on here, ready to go. And then when I come over here, what I'm going to start with are the big things that are not able to be moved. So for example, I had an office meeting in here on Tuesday. So I went in here and I put that in Tuesday, 11 to 1230 office meeting. I put people's birthdays in there as well. Um, okay, so we have like a happy hour Thursday. So I'm going to pop in here and I'm going to click checklist. I usually don't name it anything else. Um, I'll have to double check the times for the happy hour, but I am just going to put that in there like that for now. Um, and then you will see 
that as I build upon it, um, we are going to fill in with all of the little things that could be changed around. So for example, cleaning out Trello boards on here or ordering more stamps. Um, those are, sorry, Asta is being so distracting. She's knocking things down. Asta's my cat, if you don't know. Um, but <laughs> I should have just kicked them out. But anyways, um, the little things that don't have a specific time in our absolutes, that's where I kind of put them in after the fact. So I like to start with all of the things that are not going to move. Um, and I put those all in first, and then I put all of the flexible things in first. And then I have, if I have any open room, that's where I start to brainstorm, what can I work on that will propel my business forward? So that's pretty much how I make my week. And it might seem super simple, but you know, that's why it works, I think, is it's just incredibly simple. Um, and then it just is so satisfying to check off things on a checklist, isn't it? So um, once you check everything off, it'll turn green. Um, for example, I will show you, well, it's over here. Yeah, we'll show you over here. What it looks like if you don't have everything checked off, you'll see how many tasks you have as well. So for this week, um, right here, October 9th through the 15th, I didn't actually check any of the days completely off. Um, so you can see like how many tasks I had each day. Um, some days when I have like 20 tasks, I'm like, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> but um, it's just fun to see. And for the most part, they stay around like similar numbers, I guess. But I like to put things in there so that I don't forget to do them. So I find Trello extremely helpful. If you have not yet checked out the other video, be sure to do so. And let me know what you think. Let me know how your um, how your work day and work week goes with utilizing Trello. I hope that it's been helpful. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.